Hey guys, my birthday was on the 13th and I decided to face my fear of cake decoration by decorating my own cake using butter icing, that's butter cream. This is my second time ever decorating a cake. The other time I decorated a cake using fondant icing. These are the ingredients I used to make the cake. I used my Nigerian cake recipe, the video is on my channel. I made a few adjustments to the quantities of ingredients though. The colors are because this cake is a multi-color cake. And these are the ingredients I used for the butter icing. I started by creaming the butter and the sugar. You can see that the butter is soft but not melted so it's best to bring it out from the fridge a few hours before you start creaming. The length of time depends on the weather. When the weather is hot it should be fine in about one hour but in winter it will take longer. I made two cakes which I later joined together to get the cake that I decorated so this butter and sugar are for the two cakes. I'm only creaming them together because it makes sense to save time, energy and every other thing that needs to be saved. I creamed it using the instructions for my mixer which is to run the mixer for 10 minutes at most at a time. I am by no means a professional cake baker. I have baked lots of cakes for home consumption but I have a phobia for cake decoration. So just regard this as a chit chat video of me sharing how I did this. Hopefully this will inspire those of you that have the fear of cake decoration like me to try your hands at this at least once in your lifetime. There's a lot of frustration involved in this, I tell you, but in the end, you look back and love the experience. If you do not learn anything from the experience, at least you will learn to appreciate a well-decorated cake and know that whatever amount of money you pay for it is so worth it. Yes. <laughs> And this was after 10 minutes of creaming. It's turning white and it peaks. I used to cream butter and sugar for much longer but over the years I've slowly reduced the amount of time I, I cream them and I see no difference in the cake. So once it turns noticeably whiter and it peaks when I do this, it's okay. Scoop half of the creamed butter and sugar into the bowl. I'm going to mix the cake one at a time because my bowl is not big enough to mix the two of them at once.
I made this cake the day before, decorated it the next day, and it was consumed the day, the same day that I decorated it. But if this were a wedding cake that may stay on the table for days while it's being decorated, then you need to add a preservative at this time. Brandy is the most popular Nigerian cake preservative. I'm scooping out the one that I'll add some color to. Pour the different colors of the cake mix in layers. It's rising. Don't open the oven door till it has finished rising. That's it. Bring it out to cool down completely. When cool, I cut off the dome. Professional bakers have the perfect kitchen equipment for doing all this, but since I don't know the next time I'll be decorating a cake, I'm using a bread knife. I also trim the areas that touch the pan. You can see that it's a little bit burnt. Next, I mixed the butter cream. The quantity of butter to start with depends on the decoration. I just start mixing the butter and add icing sugar as I go. That's powdered sugar till I get the thickness I want. Then add pig evaporated milk. The milk gives it a kind of fluffy texture. You know how a camo feels when you've not added milk to it and 
how it feels after you've added evaporated milk. Yes, that's the difference this milk makes to the buttercream. Whip very well. It should be creamy. If you want the buttercream lighter, add less icing sugar to the butter.
After that, I added some color to the buttercream. This one here has no color. This one is just a few drops of red to give me pink or a kind of peach. <laughs> this one is a few drops of blue to get light blue. This one is a combination of red and blue, more of red to give me lilac. The colors do not show very well in this video. Then put them in a piping bag, layer by layer, being careful not to mix the colors in the bag. And after that, just pipe the cake. In fact, this is the easiest cake walk I could find on YouTube because I don't want stress. <laughs> And that was how my SD card got filled up without my knowledge and I was busy piping away. Anyway, I just repeated the same piping work all over the cake and I got this. I hope I tried. Bye!